we're going down the Oregon coast. We started this trip yesterday. And I don't really know where we're going. We're probably going to try to go down as far south on the border as we could. Did a little shredding yesterday. Oh. You know that gets cut off. There's the shred stick. It's not everything. The bed's not made back there. It's a little messy. Because we spent the night. And we spent the night in Manzanita. And we got woken up by the popo. Well, he was super nice. <laughs> but... We had found it on a spot on I Overlander. It was like a parking area like along the beach. And it said on there that there was no camping signs, but everybody on there said you could still camp there. Like nobody had any issues. Because we need to update that. We yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a comment on it because the guy, you can tell he makes his rounds every morning to get the campers out. And there was like a couple other camper vans up above us or in front of us and they had to leave too, but um he did not find us. He could have fined us $500, <laughs> but he was really nice and he was just like, you just can't camp here and blah, blah. We're gonna cruise. The next stop on our list is Pacific City. And I think there's Cape Kiwanda there. The cool surf shop I wanna go to. I started surfing, but I'm not very good. And it's too big to surf today for me, so I'm not gonna do it. Maybe later. here for a coffee break. We're having some Bird Rock Natural Pacamara El Salvador. It's gonna be decent. I'm making it on an AeroPress. We might get some hacky sack action going too. Kyle's very sad right now because we just pulled over to make a nice coffee as you saw. And we got everything ready, all the grounds the coffee, the hot water heated, he had to take the stove out, and then he couldn't find his AeroPress. He's like, I didn't bring my AeroPress, I don't think. I'm making it on an AeroPress. He was looking all over for it, couldn't find it. So he put all his coffee stuff away, he threw out his grounds and his hot water, and then the AeroPress was on the roof. And I closed the door and I slammed the AeroPress in the slider. Did it break? I don't think so. I'm not sure. And then I got too bummed to play hacky sack. That was a real big bummer for him. <laughs> Check out these views though. Oh yeah, we have some nice views right now. I'd shred that. <laughs> I'd so shred that. What have you been doing? Road hacky. What's the goal here? Road. I'm trying to get it to balance on my forehead. It's probably not and safe drive. while you drive. Oh. Second stall. I need to come in. Oh! Bingo! Uh oh! Hello! New Hello! Captain in charge. I'm just adjusting the mirrors, they're way off. Because <laughs> I'm a little shorty. What's the plan, Stan? Oh, um, we are heading now. We're trying to book it. <laughs> I say as we sit in the parking lot. Um, to our next spot, which is Secret Beach. And I just looked on Over Overlander too. Kyle did too, and it looks like we can just overnight park there. So that's the plan, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and there was no comment saying that there are no camping signs, so I think we should be okay. But apparently it's just a little like secluded beach. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be lots of people there, but it's more of a secluded beach that you like hike down to. Should be pretty cool. Okay, Back it up. Back it up, girl. Oh, there's plenty of room. I don't know why I'm freaking. All right. <laughs> Made it to the secret beach pull out, and it's not exactly what we expected. There's the rhino back there. We thought we were gonna be able to camp here, but I don't think it's what I don't think it's gonna work. 
it's a little little funky here's everything that's going on and then oh looks like that's our trail but there's another pull off a little bit down the road that didn't have any no camping signs and i think that we saw that one on i overlander too and there's service back there so we might just pull back down there Because we think we might have found the way, but we're not sure. It's down a steep set of rocks. Well, it could be done. There's two ways. Well, we're not I'm gonna. also four months pregnant right now, so I don't really want to be scaling the rocks. <laughs> scaling the rocks and then have to wade through water to get to the beach. I'd rather sit up here and enjoy it. It's sweet. But there looked this like is there so was cool. a way around, but we couldn't quite tell and we didn't really want to waste all of our time. We'd have to commit quite a bit to get there. Trying to find it, yeah. So. We yeah, decided to just cool. enjoy it from up here. But there's children down there playing in the water. So I'm like, how did they get down I there without... I think they scaled the rocks, yo. I don't think so. I think there's a way around. I think so. I think they're hardcore. You just told me that you thought that way was the way around. Yeah, maybe. We're going to chill here for a bit. Then we're going to go back to our camp spot and cook some dinner. It's a nice We view. got some sweet bread yeah. from this guy named Ron. It was in the town of uh, Yahats. Yahats. Y-A-C-H. It was goofy. Y-A-C-H-A-T-S, I think. <clears throat> but we kind of just happened upon it and I saw a big sign that said fresh bread. We had soup for tonight, so I was like, I slammed on the brakes and I turned it in real hot. And we got some fresh bread from, I don't know, it was this really, it was just like a window into his little shop and he had sourdough bread. And the one we got is Kalamata Olive sourdough bread. And, and we it sampled is. it and it's solid. So yum. So we're really excited to eat it. I am just excited to eat that more than our soup. There's some big waves coming in. Yeah. All right, we Anyways. chilling. We made it to a parking spot for the night. And I'm a little nervous about this one, given our history last night. There are no no parking sign or no camping signs, but the other two pull-offs, like right that way. Sorry, something in my teeth did have no park, no camping sign. So I don't really know why this one does it, but it makes me a little nervy. And so I hope other campers pull up, but it's a pretty sweet view. There's no phone service, which is kind of a bummer, but I think we're gonna heat up some of our soup and eat this. Oh, let me show them the sourdough that we got. That sourdough we spoke of earlier from the guy in Yah Yahats. We've already dug into it, but you can see it has Kalamata ol olives in it. And it's just a good hunk of sourdough. So I think we're gonna cut it and eat some more, but it's so good. Mm. Anyway. Check out that view though. It's our view for the night. Gotta get our stove out. Oh, I think I'm still on it. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta get our stove out. It's kind of a pain. We upgraded our stove, which just means we got a bigger stove, but you gotta get, gotta get down and dirty. It barely fits. Oh. Kylie, you need help? No, I got it. There we go. Skadoosh. There she is. Then we take her around back. Which we actually used this stove in our house while we were remodeling for like a couple months. <laughs> so it's definitely been well used. See, this thing's just too big. Ooh, we need something bird. in between sizes. It's too much happening on this thing. Not enough space. This is our camping, uh, camping. This is our um, stove setup. We have one oh, pot. Oh, full. Yeah, I know. It spilled. Oh, oh, it spilled on the burner. Oh, that is so full. Well, I wonder who did that. Kyle. What? I had Where'd to. I wasn't gonna be able to make it. It was gonna be a mess. Hey, hey, we got a pair of stickers on. Yeah, we got a couple new, got a couple new sticks today. But we'll put those on tonight. Oh, that's four. That's four. I realized that the key to hacky sack isn't kick, it's lift. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Oh! I messed 
you up by screaming. That's a new PR. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good. Oh, this is a nice shot of you right here, babe. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Oh, you're gonna like it. Oh, can you get out the knife too to cut the bready? There you go. Good morning. We didn't film a thing last night and we fell asleep. We didn't get interrupted. No. Which is good. And now we're gonna kinda chill and actually clean up our crap a little bit. Oh, we are? <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. Why not? Make some coffee and then do our thing. I was really hungry when I woke up some eating some tower dough. Boy, what me to say? Then, eh. So I thought you were saying you were leaving. Cool breeze. <laughs> oh.